There are numerous reasons for this. First of all, after Operation Fallgelb, Wehrmacht and Luftwaffe suffered some losses fighting the Allies and had to replenish lost equipment before conducting any major operation. Also, the Luftwaffe was fighting over England for air domination to make Operation Sea Lion possible and to prevent the RAF from carrying out their own air raids on Germany. So even if most of the land forces could have been redirected to the Swiss front, they would probably lack proper air support, which was vital to Germany's previous successes. Second of all, Italian forces who were to support Germany during the invasion were already engaged with the Allied forces in Africa and Greek forces in Albania. They were losing on both fronts, so it was impossible for them to open a new, effective one. Italian army and air force were also using, in many cases, outdated and ineffective equipment and most of the divisions were unfit for combat. So even if they were to attack Switzerland, even with Germany's help, they probably wouldn't even be able to penetrate their outer defenses. Third of all, mountainous terrain is an easy one to defend, so even outnumbered and in some cases outclassed, the Swiss army wouldn't have many traps holding onto the ground. Additionally, they had at their disposal many bunkers and defense systems which were gradually expanded since the outbreak of the Great War. Swiss plan in an event of German attack was to use scorched earth policy, just like the Soviets did, but on a larger scale. Every tunnel, road and passage were to be destroyed. Every sign with a town or street name would be removed and locals would even be forbidden to sell maps. This would be a logistical nightmare for the Germans, who wouldn't be able to use the tanks and armor vehicles effectively, and would have troubles transporting supplies. Swiss society was very anti-Nazi, so any large-scale collaboration wouldn't exist. With hit-and-run tactics, good defensive terrain and inability for Germans to use the Blitzkrieg doctrine to its full extent, Swiss could have inflicted very high losses on the Germans and Italians or even prolonged the war enough for Soviets to inevitably surprise attack Reich, thus forcing them into making peace or truce with them. Fourth of all, Germany stored much of its gold in Swiss banks, so instantaneously after the declaration of war nearly 400 million dollars in gold would be lost and taken over by Switzerland. Even if Germans would be able to annex Switzerland, they wouldn't recover their gold because Swiss would make sure to hide it somewhere where Germans wouldn't find it. In conclusion, Hitler's attack on Switzerland would be just another nail to the coffin of German Reich. It was just a suicide for Germany to open a new, unnecessary front while others were unstable and uncertain. Losing a lot of equipment and manpower before the planned Operation Barbarossa and necessary Operation Marita also wouldn't help their overall situation. It just wasn't worth it.